Welcome to Mikun's Hardware. This video is going to be slightly different compared to what you have used to see on my channel. This time I'm going to talk about AliExpress in general and not about some particular product, some particular motherboard or some particular CPU. In this video I'm going to cover a few important subjects about AliExpress such as scam and fraud on AliExpress, shady tactics and other kind of cheats, affiliated program on AliExpress, and general safety rules, what to do when you are buying on AliExpress, what to do when you are waiting for a package from AliExpress, and what to do once you have received a package from AliExpress. Let's start with the scam and fraud on AliExpress. First of all, you need to understand how it works. AliExpress itself is not promoting and is not supporting scam and fraud on their platform. If they identify a scammy or a fraudy shop, they will shut it down. Still, we can argue that AliExpress is not doing enough to prevent this kind of unpleasant experience for their customers. One of the most common scam on AliExpress is when Chinese are selling fake graphics cards such as GTX 1050 Ti, GTX 750 Ti, sometimes it's GTX 960, 950. Quite often it is X-mining graphics cards from AMD such as AMD RX 580, 480, 590, 570. Those are legit graphics cards, but they are almost dead or already dead. You may receive the graphics card, it will work for you a week, a month, and then it dies. So, now I'm gonna tell you how it works. First of all, when someone is attempting to make a scam and sell those scamming graphics card, they will open a shop on AliExpress and populate the shop with uh, some kind of small and useless items. People are buying those small items and leaving positive feedback for the shop. Once the shop has got enough positive feedbacks and probably enough history or longevity, they are making a listing for the scammy product. This could be a graphics card, this could be a scammy PlayStation or whatever. The thing here goes is that the first batch of the scam product is legit. For example, if they're making a listing for GTX 1050 Ti, first 10, 100 or maybe even 1000 of the customers will receive legit GTX 1050 Ti. This is done to gather and collect multiple positive feedbacks for this particular listing on AliExpress. When some kind of a big sale such as Chinese 1111, uh, Black Friday, Cyber Monday or any kind of a big sale comes, this product will have multiple positive feedbacks. When the sale comes and people are searching and rushing to buy multiple different cheap options, and rushing for this good deal when they're getting a GTX 1050 Ti for like 40, 50 euros, at that time they start to ship these fake products in big quantities. Let's take a look at one of such examples on AliExpress. So here we have got a GTX 1050 Ti for 45 to 60 US dollars. You can see how the seller is trying to hide the video output from the graphics card. This is done so the people who are receiving real GTX 1050 Ti and a fake GTX 1050 Ti will not be able to compare the product with the pictures they have seen on the AliExpress. The fake GTX 1050 Ti will not have the same video outputs as a real one. Let's take a look at the product reviews. Here we have 37 product reviews and surprisingly there is a bunch of positive feedback if we go for the first page. Usually the first page will contain the oldest feedbacks and here you can see that a bunch of people are quite happy about the graphics card. You might think that, come on, people can't be this stupid to buy a fake GTX 1050 Ti and be so happy about it. And here is the catch. AliExpress seller knows about this as well and that scammer is sending a legit GTX 1050 Ti to the first 10, maybe 20 customers and only after that, when the sales ramp up, they are starting to sell their fake fraud or whatever product they have that they want to rid of and get money for it in a non-legit way. So, the long story short, if you see that there is something shady for some really good price and the store is not super legit, even if you see multiple positive feedbacks for this product, it's better to stay safe, keep your money in your pocket and do not buy because it might be a fraud. 
Of course, it's good to know about common frauds which are happening every now and then and people are still biting it. This is the graphics card and there might be something else like rebranded CPUs and all other stuff. So if you're not sure about something, better not buy it than be sorry that you have lost your money which you have earned. Next topic in this video is shady tactics and other kind of cheats on AliExpress. To understand how it works, you need to understand that AliExpress sellers are not stupid. When you see some kind of a misleading or bad product description, you need to understand that most likely this description was made this way on purpose. The AliExpress sellers, they do know the technical specification of their product and they don't provide that technical specification on purpose. They do not want people to know what exactly they are selling, they want to keep it misleading. A few examples of such misleading tactics could be when the sellers are saying 4 DDR4 memory slots. Multiple naive users will believe that the motherboard has 4 memory channels. In reality, it's 2 memory channels and 4 memory slots. If you receive such a motherboard and then you will complain that you have got only 2 memory channels while the seller specified 4, you will get a denial because the seller has never specified that it's 4 memory channels, they only said it's 4 memory slots. Another very common problem is when they are specifying something like M.2 slot or M.2 Wi-Fi slot. Naive users believe that if the motherboard has an M.2 Wi-Fi slot, they can install their M.2 Wi-Fi and Bluetooth card and they will get a wireless network and wireless Bluetooth. And the reality is that once they receive the motherboard, they install the expansion card, Wi-Fi works, Bluetooth does not work. They will try to reach out to the seller and ask what the heck is going on and the seller will smilingly say to them and the buyers will be asking, yeah, but you said the motherboard has M.2 Wi-Fi slot. And the seller will answer, yes, the motherboard has M.2 Wi-Fi slot, but I have never said that the motherboard works with M.2 Bluetooth. So these kind of shady tactics are quite annoying and you shall be aware about them and be careful when you're buying what you are buying. Let's take a look at a few examples on AliExpress with these shady tactics. So this crappy motherboard is a very good example of these kind of shady tactics. First, if we take a look at this picture, we see DDR4 2 dim. Most of the naive users will believe that this motherboard has dual memory channel, but in reality this motherboard has just one memory channel, which is really disgusting. But with such description you cannot complain to AliExpress and you cannot complain to the seller, because the seller has never specified that this motherboard has two memory channels. Everything they have written is true. The motherboard has two DDR4 memory slots. That's it. And if we look at the first picture, we see that they are advertising that it's a package between DDR4-2400, Xeon E5-2603 and the motherboard. Now, most of the naive users will believe that they will get this package working with DDR4-2400, but in the reality, maximum memory speed will be DDR4-1866 because it's limited by the CPU. Now, most of such people will try to complain to the seller asking like what's going on here, you have sold me DDR4-2400, but the memory is not working at DDR4-2400. And the answer from the seller will be pretty damn simple, the memory is DDR4-2400, but I have never said that it's going to work at this speed with this CPU. If you install this memory into other motherboard with another CPU which supports DDR4-2400, the memory is going to work at this speed, but with this platform it's going to work as DDR4-1866. This is very disgusting, but that's what AliExpress sellers are doing to sell as much as possible and for as high price as possible. So this time we have this annoying Ultramiter or Plex HD or Clisre X99 motherboard, which is being sold with the DDR4-2666 and Xeon E5-2620 V3. Again, most of the naive users will believe that they are getting better performance because they will get faster RAM. DDR4-2666 is after all faster than DDR4-1866. But when they receive the package, assemble everything together, they will be disappointed because the memory will not work at that speed. And there is no way to complain about it to AliExpress or AliExpress seller, because they have never specified that this memory is going to work at this speed with this motherboard and this CPU. 
everything they have said is true. The memory itself is DDR4-2666. The other annoying and disgusting tactics of AliExpress sellers is when they upgrade their products to the next version. For example, we can uh, take Huanan GX99 AM motherboard. That was a very decent motherboard which did not have any major flaws. You could overclock your CPUs, you can adjust memory timings, the sleep mode was working and you can also adjust the 4-pin fan speed. Basically, the motherboard did not have any flaws. It was a bit too expensive, but it was a very decent M80X motherboard with two memory channels. Now, Huanan G has released a next version of this motherboard, which is called Huanan GX99 8MF, which is in reality a completely different motherboard. It uses cheap desktop B85 chipset, and underneath is a completely different product. The only similarity between X99 8M and X99 8MF is the looks. And some dishonest or a bit disgusting AliExpress sellers, what they do, they claim that they have upgraded existing product with a newer version and taken a listing of Huanan GX99 8M, upgraded into Huanan GX99 8MF and keep selling it like that. Let's take example of that. So, on this page you can see that it has been updated to sell Huanan GX99 8MF motherboard and this can be easily identified by this black PCI Express X4 slot which was PCI Express X1 and green slot on X99-8M. You can also see that the number of uh, SATA ports has been reduced and there is uh, a bunch of other different uh, small changes between these two motherboards. But uh, let's go to the reviews or feedback about this motherboard and see what the buyers say. As you can see, the majority of the reviews is actually positive. And if we try to look at the pictures, we can see this one is already x 99 mf because it has this black PCI Express X4 slot. But if we look at other pictures, this one for example, it was given to another motherboard, not the one which is being sold right now. This one is Huanan G X99 8M, which used real X99 chipset. And that's the same motherboard. Here is one more example, another positive feedback also given to another motherboard. And this one is 8MF, but this one is again to 8M. And you will find out that majority of this positive feedback was given to the original Huanan GX99 8M motherboard, not the one which is currently being on sale. That's why this is a cheat. They are using feedback and reviews for a good product to sell a bad product, which is looking very similar to the previous good product. On AliExpress, it's not allowed to transform one product page into another product, but this cheat works because AliExpress allows to update pictures and description of the same product, and those dishonest sellers, they claim that this is the same product, just a newer revision. One more example is the famous Machinist X99Z version 102 and 104 motherboard, which has been upgraded into Machinist X99 version 201. Let's take a look at that on AliExpress. So, here you can see that the motherboard looks almost identical to Machinist X99Z, but if I do the magnification, we can see that it's X99 version 201. We can also see that the number of SATA 3 ports has been reduced. Actually, these two are only SATA 3 and the other two are SATA 2. And I have also contacted one of the AliExpress sellers and they told me that the motherboard is using cheap B85 chipset. What's the most important is that this motherboard has only two memory channels instead of four memory channels. Machinist X99Z was famous for having MATX standard or form factor with four memory channels. This motherboard is a disappointment, it has only two memory channels. At least that's what I was told. Before I have tested this motherboard myself, I can't say for sure, but the point here is that this motherboard is not the motherboard which received the positive feedback. So let's click on the 155 reviews and take a look what people say. And if we look here at the pictures, we can see that people are giving reviews for the original Machinist X99Z motherboard. We can see that these SATA ports, it's six of them and they all are black, and this is version 102, it's not 201. 
Now, this motherboard is also the original Machinist X99Z. It's not the one which is being on sale right now. And one more, and one more, this one is as well. It's Machinist X99Z version 102. And yet again, those people are falling into this trap. They look at the motherboard, seems decent. They look at the reviews, seem decent and they are buying it, but in reality they are buying a different, inferior product to what they think they are buying. I think this is a very disgusting and very shady tactics by AliExpress sellers, and the conclusion about this is that if you compare pictures of the product on sale and the product which you can see in the reviews, if those pictures are different, then do not buy this stuff. Even if the product is good, if AliExpress seller has done this disgusting trick, do not buy this product, please. The next topic in my video is AliExpress affiliate program. Quite often people are asking me, can you please give me an affiliate link to this CPU, this motherboard or this graphics card or something else so I can buy this stuff from AliExpress and support you. The problem is that it's not that simple. AliExpress stores, they can opt in and opt out from the AliExpress affiliate program and I cannot decide which product I want to promote. There is a list of products and a list of shops that I can promote and I can pick different items from this available list. And even though I always try to pick the best possible options, I'm trying to pick options with the best price from the best stores and with the best quality, this is not guaranteed that you will receive the same items because the stores, they can update the product, they can update the price and they can opt in and opt out from the affiliate program after I have created the affiliate link. A few times I have received a message that people were complaining that they have bought something like some motherboard, some memory and it didn't work well and they said I have followed your AliExpress link and I have received this crap. Well, I'm really sorry about that, but there is not much I can do about it. When I'm making these links, I'm trying to pick the best product for the best price from the best shops and the best quality. Unfortunately, I cannot validate all of these links every day and make sure that those links are still the best from what I can pick. AliExpress sellers, they can change the description, price and an entire product which is linked by this link. This is how it works and if you open one of these links, if you want to support me or someone else and you have an affiliate link to AliExpress, you open the link and you see that the product is bad or the quality is not decent or the store is shady, please do not buy it. It will help you, it will help the one who you want to support. Because if you buy something while trying to support someone else, you will feel very bad if that product ends up to be crappy. So please don't buy it if you see that it's bad. Nevertheless, if you want to support me or support someone else through AliExpress affiliated link, what you can do, you just navigate to AliExpress through one of those affiliated links and that's it. If the product which was linked by that link ends up to be bad, don't buy it. If it's good, feel free to buy it if you really need it. And if you don't need it, just don't buy it and just keep scrolling AliExpress and find what you want to buy. It may happen that what you finally buy on AliExpress will be also part of affiliated program and uh, the one who you are trying to support will receive a small change from your transaction on AliExpress, even though that particular product that you bought on AliExpress was not linked by the one who you want to support. And the last big subject of my AliExpress video will be about the general safety rules when you're trying to buy something on AliExpress. First of all, when you're trying to buy something, you need to do your research. Compare the prices between different stores, compare the feedback about different stores, and if you see that the store is new, it's more likely that this store will be not legit. If the store is 5 to 10 years old, it's more likely to be a legit store with a good experience. Also, you need to look at the number of positive feedback. If a store has less than 96% of positive feedback, it's better not to buy anything from this store. I would say that 95% is the last border which you shall not cross. If a store has only 94% positive feedback, skip the store. Of course, if you're buying some toys and you can afford losing some money or buying something that you really didn't need, then feel free to buy from any AliExpress store. 
But if you're spending your hard-earned money and want to get your computer or some other toy, maybe it's a gift for yourself, maybe it's a gift for your wife, husband, son, daughter, whatever, and you cannot afford losing this money, then avoid the stores which have less than 96% of the positive feedback. And it's preferable to pick stores with 5 to 10 years of history on AliExpress. As I have already mentioned previously in this video, when you're buying something, make sure to compare pictures of the current product and the pictures that you can see in the feedback section or in the review sections of the product. If the pictures in the reviews and in the product page are different, do not buy this product. Most likely the product was upgraded by the AliExpress seller into something which is not as good as it was before and the positive feedback was given to the previous version of the product which was better than it is right now. If a product has some kind of a misleading description or you cannot find an identification for what you want to find on the page, for example, a motherboard specifies that it supports Intel LGA 2011 version 3 CPUs, Xeon E5 V3. Well, this can state that the motherboard will actually work with all 2011 version 3 CPUs, but it also may mean that the motherboard works only with Xeon E5 V3 CPUs. Let's say you need a motherboard for Intel Core i7 on LGA 2011 version 3 motherboard. You can of course write a message to the AliExpress seller and ask them if this motherboard would work with your CPU. Quite often the sellers do not answer because they just have so many messages that they don't have any chance to answer all of those messages. And that's totally normal. I have less than 10,000 subscribers and sometimes I don't have time to answer questions that I'm receiving constantly. I can only imagine how much spam these AliExpress sellers are getting regarding their products. So that's okay if they don't answer. If they answer, that's perfect. But if they don't answer, that's also fine. What you can do is very simple. You just order the motherboard, but in the order you can add a small note saying something like, Sir, I would like to have a motherboard for Intel Core i7 5820K. If this motherboard does not work with my CPU, please cancel my order. In this case, the AliExpress seller will be forced to read your message. And if the motherboard does not work with your CPU, he will cancel your order. And if it works, he will send you the motherboard. If the AliExpress seller ignores your message and sends you motherboard which does not work with your CPU. This you can use as an evidence in a dispute with AliExpress and the AliExpress seller when you want to return your money back. You can always take a screenshot of the order. It will contain the piece of information that you have written to the seller that you were asking explicitly for a motherboard which would work with i7-7820, um, sorry, with i7-5820K but the motherboard you have received does not work with it, so you are demanding your money back because you asked for one thing and received another thing. That's why it's always important to read the product description, make sure that all important things that uh, you want to know about the product are either clarified in the product description, clarified on the product pictures, or explicitly answered by the AliExpress seller. If those are not explicitly specified or answered by the seller, just write a small note and you will be good to go. One more important problem when shopping on AliExpress for different computer parts is the compatibility. Lately I have received multiple different complaints about people who are buying DDR4 memory from AliExpress and that memory is not working with the X99 motherboards. Moreover, I have received many complaints about Chinese NVMe SSDs, which also refuse to work on the Chinese X99 motherboards. In this case, what you have to do? You have to aim to find a store which would be able to sell you entire set as a package. So if you have a motherboard, you can add the CPU, you can add your memories, and you can add the SSD, then buy it as an entire package, then you can ask the seller to validate that it all works together. If you're buying, let's say, motherboard from one store, memory from another store, and SSD from the third store, and then it all comes to you in different times, for example, you first receive memory, then motherboard, and then SSD, then you put it all together and you figure out that it's not working. It's gonna be a very long, frustrating wait waiting time, and uh, you will end up just scratching your head, spend your money, and still sitting without a working computer. That's why if you're not sure that it's gonna all work together, try to buy it as a single package and ask the seller to validate that it all works together. 
Once you have finished your AliExpress order and waiting for your package, it's important not to bother AliExpress sellers and do not spam them with messages like when is my package is going to arrive, why my package is not moving, when it's gonna be in my country, where is my package and other stuff like that. There is completely no reason to do that. It doesn't matter how many such messages you send to the AliExpress seller, your package is not going to move faster, it's not going to arrive to you faster. You're only wasting your energy, wasting AliExpress seller's energy and making him to be annoyed and angry with you. Just sit patiently and wait until your package arrives. On AliExpress there is such thing as a buyer's protection, which is basically holding your money at AliExpress. So the seller is not getting your money until you receive and confirm that you have received the goods. Thus, for the seller, it's also important that you receive your package as soon as possible and in properly working condition so they can get their money, otherwise AliExpress will not give them the money you have paid to AliExpress. Thus, if you're not receiving your package and the buyer's protection is running out, you can just go to the product details page, open a dispute, specify that you have not got the package yet, and AliExpress will return you the money. You don't even have to interact with the seller. It's not up to seller to decide if you're getting the money back, if you're not getting the money back. If you have not received the package and the buyer's protection is running out, AliExpress will return you the money straight away. This will be covered by AliExpress. You don't have to bother the seller. You don't have to bother yourself. It's as simple as that. Another point is that if the package has arrived to your country and been held by your local customs, do not try to get your money back because you will not get them. Instead, if the buyer's protection is running out, what you can do, you can request extension for the buyer's protection time. You can also of course try to contact your local customs and make sure that they process your package, maybe you need to pay VAT or some other taxes or something like that. But in most of the times you just need to sit and wait patiently, maybe customs will send you a notification or invoice or any kind of other letter so you can pay all those import charges, taxes and whatever, and then you get your package. Once the package arrives to the post office and you have to collect it, first make sure that there are no damages to the package. Check the package from all the sides, make sure that there are no holes in the seal, make sure that the package is not bound. If you find any kind of damages, just refuse to pick the package and send it back to China straight from the post office. If the package is not damaged or you decide to take a package which is slightly damaged to your home, in both cases you need to record an unboxing video and make sure that the video is clearly showing the shipping number, the receiver and the sender of the package. Then you turn the package to show all sides from the package to demonstrate that the package is either not broken or is broken. Of course, after that, you need to slowly open it and demonstrate how the product was packed, how it was lying in there, if there are any damages or no damages. After that, make sure to take a few or rather quite a few high resolution quality pictures. It quite often happens that after a while you figure out that there is a some tiny problem with the motherboard or with some other product and then you look at uh, let's say those two jumper pins and see that they are bent and you want to see if you have received the motherboard with these defects straight away or you have caused it by some other way. Then you're going back to the unboxing video trying to look at it but the video is not of the best quality and you see that the pins are there but you can't identify if they are broken or not broken if they're bent or not bent. That's why it's important to get high resolution and quality pictures from all angles of the product. You can use those pictures to zoom in and see if your product was damaged when you received it or you have caused that damage somehow, somewhere when trying to install it into the chassis or some other kind of a weird action which you have accidentally performed to do this kind of a damage. One more significant mistake for AliExpress shoppers is to write a positive feedback for a product which you have received and packed but have not yet validated. It's not good to write a positive feedback straight away after unboxing and seeing this shiny new motherboard, shiny new graphics card, shiny new or used CPU, you look at it from top from bottom, everything is intact, nothing is broken and you're happy going to the AliExpress, blah blah blah, I am very happy, looks perfect, looks fine. No, you don't do that. You take the product, you see that it's not damaged, that there are no visible problems with the product and you start to use it. 
Use it for one week, for two weeks, maybe three weeks, maybe even a month. And only after that you go to AliExpress and give a positive feedback. Ignore those AliExpress mails when they are begging you to provide them positive feedback, five stars, blah blah blah. That's not what you do. You use the product and only when you are sure that it's 100% working and 100% according to the advertisement, only then you give a positive feedback. Because after you give the positive feedback, you are no longer able to open a dispute in case of any problems. One more issue lies is when people are trying to modify a product from AliExpress straight out of the box. For example, someone is buying an X99 motherboard, plugging in the CPU, plugging in RAM, slapping in the CPU cooler, booting into Windows, and first thing, unlock Turbo Boost. I need to unlock Turbo Boost because I'm going to die without unlocking Turbo Boost. No, that's not how it works. People are unlocking Turbo Boost and then the system starts to crash, the system is not working stable. And now you don't know if this is a problem of the modified BIOS, if this is a problem of unlocking Turbo Boost, or it's a problem with your CPU, or it's a problem with your motherboard. First, you need to assemble everything as is and make sure that it's 100% stable with the default configuration. Only after that you can try to use some kind of modified BIOS options, apply Turbo Boost Unlock, maybe tighten RAM timings and do some other kind of configurations and adjustments. Another problem is when people are flashing a modified BIOS or doing something else to modify their product, they lose the original state of the product or they don't save the original BIOS of the motherboard. After that, the motherboard starts to act weirdly, doesn't work, and they try to reach out to the AliExpress seller and asking for the original BIOS to be able to restore the original state. And the sellers, they are just playing shady and they are saying, aha, uh -huh, you have been using a modified BIOS and that BIOS has broken my motherboard. Now is your problem, you solve it your way, you have managed to break it, you managed to fix it. Still, if you have done everything right and you end up in a dispute with AliExpress or with the AliExpress seller or for whatever reason you have got a malfunctioning or a defective product, what you have to do, you have to collect as much evidence as possible, take as many pictures as possible, as many screenshots as possible, of course record a video demonstrating a problem and don't be afraid to speak broken English. Some English with the describing the problem is better than no English at all. It will help AliExpress to understand what the problem is. So, make pictures, make screenshots, make videos and share all of this information with the seller first. Try to solve the problem with the seller, be polite, be professional and say like, hello sir, I have got the product, I have tested it this way, I have tried that, I have tried that and I'm getting this result, it's supposed to be this, but it's not working, what would you suggest me to do? And here there might be a few different options. You may receive a nonsense answer from the seller, you may receive no answer from the seller, the seller may offer you to send the product back but not open the AliExpress dispute, you shall refuse to do that, and the seller may solve the problem for you. Sometimes, or rather often, all of those problems can be solved with updating drivers or maybe using some other BIOS option. But in any way, don't try to do something that seller doesn't recommend you to do. Once you have contacted the seller, try to follow the recommendation and don't do anything outside of the scope of what they told you to do, because they may claim that you have broken the motherboard or some other device by your own actions and they didn't ask you to do that. Anyway, if you're not able to solve the problem with the AliExpress seller, then take all of these evidence that you have collected to contact the seller and open an AliExpress dispute. And the last two very important points that I would like to state is, first, never try to cheat on AliExpress and AliExpress sellers. If you have received a product which is working, do not try to get your money back for this product, even if you can record a fake video demonstrating that the product doesn't work and try to get the money back. Don't do that. Chinese are also people, they are working to get the money to survive, to support their families, their children, and their houses, their cars, whatever. Even if you have received a product which has a slight damage, or maybe, for example, you have received a CPU, let's say it's E5 2670HV3, which is an engineering sample, but it happens to be working exactly like a final retail version, the only difference is ES in the name. Don't try to claim the money back, because you have received a working product, it works exactly the same as the product you wanted to buy, 
and the only difference is just two annoying ES letters in the product name. This you can live with because you're not sacrificing anything. Just don't try to play dirty and squeeze money from AliExpress and AliExpress sellers. The second one is always leave feedback, positive or negative, and always take pictures of the products you buy on AliExpress and add them to AliExpress. As you have seen in this video, these pictures are helping other people to identify if the current product that is being sold on the AliExpress page is the same as it was sold before, if the positive or negative feedback was given to the same product that the AliExpress is selling right now. I know it might be time consuming and it might be annoying to take the pictures, then upload them to the computer and go to AliExpress and leave the feedback, but believe me, it's really helping others to stay safe and shop safe on AliExpress. And that's probably all I would like to tell you about the shopping on AliExpress. With my experience and with my knowledge, I hope you're gonna stay safe, I hope you're going to find what you need, buy it and enjoy it for a decent price. For now though, that's all I have for you. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening, I hope you have enjoyed it, I hope it's gonna help you, goodbye.